Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best camera for street photography in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these best camera for street photography, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality best camera for street photography according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Fujifilm X10V. Bags of style, backed up with serious imaging tech. The Fujifilm X10V is it all. The fifth in a line of prime lens compacts, the X10V is choose zoom range in favor of a catch at all focal length and supreme image quality. One of the most enjoyable cameras that's ever been made, the X10V has evidently been put together with street photographers in mind. Its dial base controls hark back to the old days of street photography, while its hybrid optical slash electronic viewfinder is one of the best examples of its type on any mirrorless camera, full stop. All of this does come at a price, but if you can justify the expense, it's worth it. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Panasonic Lumix Lex10 Roman 2. The 4 3rd sensor of the Panasonic Lumix Lex10 Roman 2 is interesting in a number of ways. For a start, it's a multi-aspect sensor, allowing you to quickly switch between different aspect ratios of images. The camera's controls also make this easy to do, which encourages experimentation with different types of composition. The 4 3rd sensor is larger than those you'd find in many comparable compacts, which makes it easier to produce images with a shallow depth of field. A task further, aided by the maximum lens aperture of f 1.7. This makes the Lex10 Roman 2 a really great choice for street portraiture, allowing the user to capture dynamic images that really pop. The number 3 position is held by Canon PowerShot G 5X Mark Roman 2. In Cartier Bresson's day, it was unthinkable that a powerful camera could be so small that it slip into a jacket pocket. But so it is with the Canon PowerShot G5X Mark Roman II. An excellent all-around compact, the G5X Mark Roman II improves on its predecessor with a fast 5X zoom lens that covers an equivalent focal range of 24-120, perfectly pitched for street photography. The customizable control ring on the lens can be set to the user's preferred function, allowing you to fine-tune the handling to your preferences making shooting with the G5X Roman 2 as intuitive an experience as possible. Next, at number 4, we have Ricoh GR Roman 3. Like 4-hour board games and the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the Ricoh GR cameras have acquired something of a cult following. Their fans will extol, to anyone who will listen, the virtues of their slim build and large sensor, a feature combination that does make the most recent model. The GR Roman 3, a great option for street photography, so much so that it even comes in a dedicated street edition with a pop-on viewfinder and natty yellow stripe included. And with impressive features like 3-axis image stabilization, a high maximum ISO 102400, and a lean startup time of just 0.8 sec, the GR Roman 3 is the imaging cred to back up its looks. The number 5 position is held by Sony RX10 Roman 7. A camera doesn't get 7 iterations unless the idea was good to begin with. And the Sony RX10 Roman 7 is the latest in a line of terrific tiny compacts. Pairing a 24-200 equivalent size engineered lens with an extremely sophisticated autofocus system and enviably fast burst shooting is a winner in anyone's book. And all this makes it right up the alley of any street photographer. All this tech doesn't come cheap, however. And one could argue that the RX10 Roman 7 is a wee bit aggressively priced for a camera of its size and sensor size. The good news? Though, is that if the asking price is too dear for you, the preceding RX10 models are still largely in production. So by all means have a look and see if one better suits you. The number 6 position is dominated by Nikon Z50. A perfect choice for those tempted by Nikon's full-frame Z system, but a little put off by the price of the cameras, the Nikon Z50 seems to have been priced with forensic precision to undercut its main APS-C rivals. It's also stuffed with features, so while you don't get full frame, you do get a whole lot else, a generous AF system, wide dynamic range, solid high ISO performance and more. While the Z system of lenses is relatively new, it promises to expand greatly in the future, 
and this makes the Nikon Z50 even more of a bargain at its current price. By all means, get it on the ground floor. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Fujifilm X Pro 3. Let's be honest, shooting with modern, screen-equipped cameras is nothing like the street photography experience of decades gone by. Fujifilm, in a stunning display of daring, used its X Pro 3 to push back at this a little, designing a modern digital camera designed to be used like a classic rangefinder. Its hidden fold-down LCD is designed to discourage shipping and keep you within the moment. And while you have a choice between a modern EVF or an optical-style rangefinder, it's clear which one Fujifilm would prefer you use. All this presents a pretty steep learning curve. But when you master its quirks, shooting on the x Pro 3 is a transcendental experience. The number 8 position is held by Fujifilm X10. There might not be as many external controls on the X10 as there are on the Fujifilm X-T3 or X-T4. But it's so small and lightweight, it'll still make a great camera for street photography. It also has in body stabilization, which will help capture sharp images, plus a fully articulated screen, make it easy to shoot discreetly from the hip. Paired with the Fujifilm X F35 MF 2 or the Fujifilm X F23 MF 2, depending on whether you want a 50 or 35 mm equivalent in full frame, it makes for a perfect street photography setup. The Fujifilm X 10 might just be the best APS-C camera on the market right now in terms of performance, build quality, and price point. There are also plenty of official Fujifilm lenses and third-party lenses to choose from in case you want to experiment with other styles of photography. Next at number 9, we have Canon EOS M6 Roman II. If you'll pardon our French for a moment, the EOS M6 Roman II represented the kick-up le derriere that the EOS M series desperately needed, and for its price it's one of the best Canon cameras and mirrorless cameras around. Pairing a seriously impressive APS-C sensor with super-fast, burst shooting and a beast of an autofocus system, this pocketable camera is more than just suited for street shooting, it excels at it. And given that it's packing more megapixels than the majority of Canon bodies, it's also a great choice if you've won an eye on printing your images big. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Olympus OM-TEM5 Mark Roman III. The Micro Four Thirds lens system has its skeptics, with many photographers spurning the cameras for their small sensors compared to APS-C. But the Olympus OM-DEM5 Mark Roman III is a triumph for the entire line. That mount gives you access to loads of lenses from Olympus, Panasonic and more, and the camera itself is a lightweight but powerful tool with a huge range of features. It's got weather-sealed construction, super-fast pro capture mode, seriously impressive in body stabilization, and plenty more. It's the kind of camera that's a lot of fun to delve into and get to know. It feels like you're always discovering something new about it. That's all for today. We upload camera on camera accessories review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the coming video notification.